What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are sitting here staring up the hill of Deals Gap, Tale of the Dragon, the 129, the Dragon, whatever you want to call it. I call it the Dragon because we're going to start a new type of series here today. We're going to be running basically time attack up this and getting a time in the VR because I don't use as much as I had hoped. And we're going to be using first car is this brand new 2020 C8. My headless driver right there. You might want to ignore that. It's not a horror game, I promise. We're going to be taking this car up the hill. We're going to be seeing what time we can get in a grip pace. We're going to take some other cars and do some time attacks. Something different that I can use my Oculus Rift S with. Something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And you know what? I love the Dragon Road. So, first off, definitely a very beautiful model. Very beautiful car. Got, uh... Got an engine back. I don't want to touch the new car. Yep, yep, yep. We got the engine back there. Headless driver. Let's get into this car. Get out the Dragon. And then we will take a look at the replay afterwards. Oculus Rift S. The Dragon. C8. What more could be said? Let's get into it. Alright, so we got the wheel cam turned on. We're in the C8. Definitely amazing looking. Got a, a nice little engine back there. A little uh, angled suspension. I think I see a brake reservoir back there, some shocks. Definitely a very good model. We do have the race wheel on with our fan attack and our paddles because this is a paddle shift car. So we're going to run this car in a time attack fashion up the dragon. Get rid of that little yellow dot. Oh, the yellow dot is annoying. Alright. Get rid of that. There we go. No. Alright, we're going to go over here. Alright, so we do have a start cone and an end cone. Like I said, start cones are right here. So this basically starts our flying lap. Gentle on the brakes through here. I did, after a little bit of testing on this car, realize you've got to do a lot of straight line braking. This car does not like braking when turning. It gets very tail happy and very crazy. So we I got to do a lot of straight line braking. Straight line braking the third. There we go. A little bit of a downhill section here. Part on the brakes. Go. So the Dragon 129 road is definitely a very fun road. As I say, we don't do turn braking. We were braking there. And the more and more I drive this, the more and more I will get comfortable and the faster I will get. The lighting, a little bit weird. Gonna have to fix those, uh, the lighting reflecting on the inside of the car. Been messing with some settings to try and get this Oculus to render much higher FPS for you guys to make the videos look much nicer. I think it's looking a lot better. So I haven't been using the Rift S as much as I'd like to, so that's why we're starting this series. That dummy downshift, we're just going to downshift in less. I'm at a proper gear. Is Oh, there we go. Don't lose it. It's definitely tricking me. I'm used to the race cars where I'm downshifting real quick. So I will just continue to get faster and faster on this road the more and more I do it. So if this is something you guys would like to continue to see, let me know down in the comment section down below. Or maybe what car you'd like to see take on the Dragon. I'm trying to stay as smooth as possible. Ooh, that was almost really bad. I was really hard on those brakes. Definitely a very fun road to drive in real life. Like I said, if you watch my drifting video, I did drive this road in real life. But I would be staying in between the mayo and the mustard, in between the center line and the, you know, white line on my side of the road in real life. But since we have this track basically closed off to us here in Santa Corsa, and road rules do not apply, we're using the whole bit of the Dragon. 318 turns, 11 miles. See what we can get, because it does record our time. Ooh, a little bit steppy. I will leave the link for this C8 download in the description box below. Did find it after one of Slap's recent videos. He put the link out. So thank you to him for putting the link up for us. If you guys don't have this car, it's definitely fun. If you guys have been around the channel long enough and you are big in the set of course of game like I am now with the modeling, you know this car is getting a full drift build. It's going to be getting a full manual trans with clutch and a handbrake and some angle wise fab up front. Gonna be doing that here very shortly. I don't think I'll be drifting the dragon with this car. It's definitely gonna be very different with the engine in the back building a drift car out of it.
I'm actually not doing too bad. This car is basically on a stock tune. I have not changed it, so I would be very interested to give this car a good tune out scraping and see how it handles on a tune with some grippier tires. I believe it's on some like Michelin Pilot Sports. Got my phone going off. I'm trying to drive the dragon. I should have turned my phone off. No texting and driving, especially when you are on a mountain road. Here we go. The Octo's Rift is so much fun to drive. Especially with the mod bike and everything. There's that brake thing. Oh, we almost lost it. Oh boy. But the mod mic, so my audio is definitely better than it was when I first started using the Octo's Rift test. So we're going to be using it more here. My little straight shop on the yellow bot. Car breathe a little bit. 110, 112, 113 before we hit the brakes. Got a little squirrely there, but we're good. We're on the fourth, and that's a little bit sly, but <laughs> we good. Track control kind of kicked in. I believe it has some factory track control on. So that factory track control kind of saved us a little bit. There we go. Flipping the throttle down. Getting used to uh, the racing that I've been doing recently in R-Factor 2. We do have a 12-hour endurance race with my friends coming here in a week or so. The 12 hours of Sebring next weekend. And uh, we're going to be doing a 12 hours of Sebring in R-Factor 2 here live on the channel. So make sure you guys, if you guys want to check out and pop in and out of that live stream, we'll be going on in, not this weekend, but next weekend one last year and we're doing one again so we're doing not bad we haven't wrecked the car get a little squirrely but we're still good really long right hander with no protection on the outside oh hold on to it man there we go don't want to wreck a brand new c8 i'd be very disappointed if we wrecked it we are just bottoming out the bottom side of this car though go so once we finish this run up we will take a look at the replay and uh, enjoy it in all its glory from the replay angles a really long right-hander basically double apex left oh scar sparks going everywhere probably carbon fiber and Plastics on the bottom getting destroyed. But we are just running this car as fast as we can. I'm very curious what the time is going to be. If you guys got a car that you think will stack up close to the same caliper as a C8, let me know down in the comments and we will basically start doing some times. And we will see what cars are faster. We could put some race cars on here as well. Drift cars, but set them to grip. Let's see what we can do. There's our finish cones right there, so we did finish our run. So we're going to hop out of the Oculus and go into the replay back on the snowball mic. So I'll catch you guys once we get out of the car, check our time, and we'll go from there. So we came across the Dragon with a time of 6 minutes and 31.9. Very respectable time. I'm not sure because I haven't uh, done any other runs, so we're going to be testing another car. But we're going to go take a look at the replay. So now we got to find out where we actually started because I believe I started, forgot to record, and then, well, yeah. So we're going to have to skip forward in the replay to find out when we actually started ripping. Basically six minutes from the end. That would be it. That would be it. Start. Right, we're just clicking back and forth, back and forth. We'll just take it from here. Definitely a very beautiful car. We're at 355 FPS right now. 400, that's insane! We're at a lot of high FPS in this after adjusting some stuff, but. 
like I said, if you guys like this, if you want to see more of this time attack here on the dragon, some different cards, let me know down in the comment section down below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are also found down in the comment section and descriptions down below. Car looks so cool ripping through here. There is a version with the top on or the top off, but I decided to go with the top off version, and I believe the drift car I'm going to build is going to be the top off version as well. So, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the sights and sound of this C8 here for a little bit here on the Dragon, and then, you know, we'll talk a little bit more once we enjoy the sounds of this car ripping by. So definitely tell me what you guys think of this style video, watching the replays, running it in the Oculus Rift S, definitely very cool, oh, that's where I was bifting. Definitely very cool to see the car's interior and everything like that in the Rift S. So time attacks on Dragon in the Rift, definitely fun to do, gonna be wanting to do more. So make sure you guys follow me and sub to the channel, I would appreciate all the support. Tap that bell notification if you want to be part of the notification gang. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.